punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Gators sending the offense back to work. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help him, too, David. I think he can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. Right on target this time. Makes the tackle at the 32, but they were backed up inside their 20, and they pick up 15. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. Now on second down after the incompletion. Back to throw. It's Lagway. Fires to the right. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? Sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field, and they pick up the first down there. Yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit, obviously knowing where that is, but the defender needs to know where it is, too. Where is he trying to get? The ball's going to come out quick. He didn't really understand where the sticks were, and because of that, he gives up the first down. He need to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. The Gators have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Johnson. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. Inside the 15, first and ten from the 14. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Tight end finds a soft spot. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Well, the tight end shows off his speed. See his ability there to separate from the defender trying to cover him on that dragway. Back to throw, it's Lagway. Going for six. Touchdown, Gator! And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space in the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football. But now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. Leading by one, they'll go ahead and go for two and try to make it a field goal game. He's looking to throw. It's caught. The two-point try is good, and now it's a three-point game. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards. And the clutch late score that almost certainly will be the game winner. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high. And that pass is intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. 
Aggressive versus reckless. It's such a fine line when you're trailing and you need to make plays late in the game. The offense was reckless, turned the football over, and this one doesn't look great. On first down, here comes this offense. A hand to the running back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. To the air, it's Flagway. He finds his man. Got enough space. Touchdown, Florida! What a grab and go for the score. That is exactly what you want your offense to do. You want it to eat clock, but if you score, go up by two possessions, nail beat Coffin. Great execution by this offense to put this game away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. I know the situation looks bleak, but have we nothing if we don't have hope, Dave? Amen. I mean, just keep hope alive. Pitch this pill around. Makes a catch down the right side. And he's running in the open. Into the end zone for a touchdown, and here in the final minute, they still have a chance. If we had any chance to make this happen, we had to score with a little bit of time on the clock. Now we need a miracle. Now, now we need to kick the onside, get an onside kick, and somehow, some way, make a big play. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. And this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is open. Well, how about this one? A fun one. These guys came in as underdogs and they walk out as the winner. They didn't care they were unranked. That's not what they were worried about. Oh, this team's ranked. They weren't looking at any different. They were looking to come in and get the W and execute. Great job believing they could come, Jesse, and knock them off. Yeah, you're right, David. This team came in with something to prove, and they knew they had a national audience that was 